Uh, yes, welcome back again. Uh, it's a uh, long time later. I just checked my computer, so it's already um, it's already created the model, which is in this location. Also, let me check. This is two megabyte almost, and uh, actually, I didn't uh, measure how long did it take because I just came long time later. But I assume since the uh, even the number of images sixty thousand, but uh, the um, resolution of the each image is low, so I think it cannot take more than two hours so anyway it's done and it's created the model so um normally i was planning to put this video back of the previous video but maybe this can also be another video i don't know and uh, i already created an another code to uh, to earn time because i don't want to code here by one by again so uh here is the code for testing the model so we will test this and if this is good um uh, if this is good then we will uh skip this part because we already get our model then in the next videos we can continue with the gui implementation and other kind of things so let's check the code first of all i also get some images in here i just uh downloaded from the internet so um there are a couple of letters in here. Also in here, I need to talk about the, maybe disadvantages of this um, MLP. First of all, um, how you trained the images, for example, which images you used for training, the same kind of images you need to uh, give as input to the model after it is done. What I'm meaning, for example, we always trained with 28 times 28 images. So we need to give the input images to the model after it training finish the same size of the images so in here i read my uh, image which is for testing also i want to start from the one.jpg and we can continue until nine so uh we need to give even for example i didn't check but the size may be different than this one width and the height so i need to convert them into this format also another thing what we did in the training part we are giving uh not to the images into the uh, mlp but we are converting them into the one row so we are only giving one dimensional uh array so also the same thing we need to convert this input image after resizing also we need to convert it to the 1d in here we are doing this one as like the uh as like the training part we did so um this is the another step and after that uh, also this image not enough because we need to also convert it to the flood type because also we trained uh, as flood type of images so this is the maybe one of the biggest disadvantage of mlp also um i think if you try um but it's i don't i'm not really sure but if you try this zeros not in the middle of this but maybe in the corner and there are more than one number inside it will be also difficult to recognize by mlp these are some disadvantages um but even uh mlp is uh in some cases still powerful tool also we are just doing these projects for learning right this is fundamental but cnn is not like this of course yeah anyway these are the steps i already talked when explaining the disadvantages but uh, loading the xml in this format is easy so after that all we need to do is just mlp.predict so it's gonna give us the output this output is gonna include 10 numbers 10 flood numbers why it's like that also it could be better but i already wrote right here this is the predicted class and where is the output um maybe i need to write output also this is not writing output i think yeah i need to write output so we can see what kind of output this predict uh, function result is giving and uh, okay so this predict and this gonna be including uh, 10 numbers why because we have 10 classes so for each class it's gonna give us a, a prediction result so the biggest one is gonna be the uh, most probably that digit is the one we are uh we are giving to the model um i can for by the way each number of the image the uh i mean the name of the image also representing the same things for example seven representing seven eight is eight nine is nine and uh one is one okay anyway so we can start with the zero and now we are uh we can see the result okay 
In here you see we have 10 number in the output of the predict function. In here we see the biggest number is the 1 with the 1 person. I mean uh, we can say 100 uh, percentage uh, surely uh, is saying this is 0. So this is 0 by the way. This is representing the 0 digit. 1, 2, 3 and continue until 9. So uh, which one is the biggest one? I'm actually doing that with this min max locate location function. So it's giving me the uh, maximum number in some way. So I'm just getting the uh, value in here. So I'm just uh, writing into the console. Okay. So it's giving us this and the predicted class is zero. So it's correct. Let's continue with this one. I'm expecting to see one, but it's giving me two, which is wrong. So the model now is uh, thinking this is two. So it's wrong. One mistake, one correct. Let's continue with two. Giving two, so this is correct. And uh, let's continue. Three. This is also correct. Four. Also, this is correct. Five. Correct. Six. Correct. Seven. Correct. And eight is um, correct. Nine is also, let's see. Correct. So one is mistaken, but the call the the rest is correct. Anyway, uh, do I have one more PNG? Okay, here is the PNG. Also, let's try this. And uh, okay, this is also correct. So I can say ninety percent is uh, correctly uh, giving the result. Okay, so even one is mistaken. It can be, I think, uh, because also the um, the Parameters we are giving uh, pro mostly bad, good par parameters, which is 10,000 iteration, and um, this is also uh, the the error uh, tolerance is also small. So I'm expecting this model is trained well. Anyway, um, this is how we are testing. So I'm uh, I'm happy with the results. I can say. So we can uh, use this model, I think. So uh, now the, in the next video, we are going to um, develop a GUI. In that GUI, we, I will be able to draw by myself with my mouse cursor. So uh, the result is going to go to the backend and uh, we'll go into this model. And this model will tell me the result and I will see in the GUI side again. This was the plan, by the way. And uh, also, yeah, I need to show you because who is the people are interested this uh, source code is in here they can easily check i had a look at also where is the modules in here and uh, in here ml modules which is machine learning module source and this uh, mlp maybe i can put it into the qt okay in the mice and here there will be a train function which we used yeah this one we already used this function so uh, we already use back propagation function for going for updating the weights and other methods we didn't use. Uh, this is the default one and the better one. And uh, the other functions also in here, all the weights kind of things. So you see, right, that's why I didn't implement this MLP. I tried. You can be sure I tried, but I'm lost. It's really difficult, but uh, here they are implemented beautifully. Thanks to OpenCV, you can check here because everything is clearly given in here. What function we are using, um, what they are doing inside. They you can check because there are also comments, easy to understand. Uh, yeah, just wanted to show you this one also because some people may be interested. And uh, since this is open source, you can reach each function. Okay. Uh, I think I, I'm going to make this video another video. So you can check this uh, separately because in here we are just doing uh testing the model okay thanks for watching see you in the next videos